Hi, it's Ben Lawson of Green Boardroom and uh, Lawson Golf. Today we're at uh, the edge of the, the green and uh, I'm going to be talking about some of the issues that people have with chipping. Now, one of the biggest problems with chipping is lack of body movement through the shot. Now, what we're looking at today is how the lower body should balance the golf swing as we strike through the ball. Now, what I see time and time again is people set up well, they've got the weight on the left side, ball position's good and the setup's as it should be, almost a textbook setup. But what we find is through the swing, they're frightened to move their body because they think they're going to hit it too far. So what we tend to see is the backswing is good, but as we come through, the body stops moving and the club starts to naturally rise. So we're either going to hit the ground early because it's an early release, or we're going to hit the ball on the upswing. Now, what we need to do to stop that is we need to get our lower body more active. And it's very much like if we pick a ball up and we're going to throw the ball. If we're throwing a ball underarm, as we come through, we would allow our hips and body weight to move into our left side, particularly towards our left heel. And that would be quite a natural movement for us. So, how do we bring that into the golf swing? Well, once you've set up, have a few practice swings and just feel that the turn of the body is the engine of your golf swing. So that's going to give you your distance control. So, when we set up, weight's on the left side, our hands are leaning forward, as we, start, we take the club back, but we bring the club through with our body movement. As you can see there, it's a good result, and the ball is next to the flag. So let's recap. Don't have a static body movement. Don't just swing with the arms only, but actually use your body, like, in a, like you're trying to throw a ball underarm, and use your body to turn and rotate through the shot. 